Ulrich's like, all right, enough training. We got to go get laid. We got to get lit, baby. Where I take thee, little brother, thou shalt partake in the oldest magic on earth. What magic be in a tavern? There be wenches in a tavern. <laughs> and they go to the they go to yes. the local tavern, the old tavern. But Ulrich, I, I can't be taken away from my studies. Shut the f up! <laughs> it's time to go wenching! <laughs> <laughs> what Ulrich has to say about that. <laughs>
unless defeated by white magic, would marry royalty and forever rule the world. We are 20 years past 1968, so we are 19, or we are nine, we're, I mean 968, so we are 988. Yes. And then later on we go a thousand Boo! years after that. Yes, which is fantastic. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, these wizards, that they, they, they duel each other for power uh, and they're they be, to become the mm. Lord of Magic. Salatin has become the Lord of Magic. He's conquered everybody else, and if he gets to marry this royal uh, princess, he will become king and rule forever as an evil dictator, basically, is the idea. Um, then we're introduced to our characters. Um, Michael and Ulrich. <laughs> Come on! Be a sport, Michael! But Mother says a wizard must be pure of heart. And Father says a wizard is first a man. Besides, little brother, where I take thee has little to do with the heart. But I must study. There is so much magic I have yet to master. Yes. Uh, uh, I, I mentioned this earlier. Michael looks kind of like Alex Winter just, just a bit. Yeah. Yes, he does. He's got like a perm. <laughs> He's got like a fucking perm. And then Ulrich. Ulrich looks like Bob Seger. <laughs> It's fucking amazing. His, the hair in this movie and all of the production <laughs> stuff, it looks terrible. Like, not terrible, terrible, but it's pretty bad. It's all very clearly, like, cheap, set, uh, whatever. Yeah, I, I sent Brian an album. I, mean, I sent him a message being like, this, yes. this looks like Bob Seger's Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. And then I sent him an album cover of a Bob Seger album yeah. from, like, the 70s. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'll put it in. Uh, but I forgot, before we get to our main characters, we have the little setup where he actually kidnaps the princess. Mm. I forgot about that. So Salatin goes into this, breaks into this cat castle and the castle sets it looks it's, like local theater <laughs> like it's yes. fucking amazing I, the only part that i thought was realistic for the time was i mean how boring it would be to stand watch for a, a royal guard <laughs> yes and they're just like nobody's Ugh, this like 20 years sucks. nobody comes here yeah. or anything they're just like chatting and yeah. i think you know one of them gets like just destroyed no. Jesus Christ. Uh, so Salatin shows up. He picks up one of them and like snaps his neck or whatever. And then the other guy like runs down the hall and our guy, the, the Salatin like shoots him with laser, like electricity and like force pulls him to him and then punches through his chest. <laughs> <laughs> of amazing it's he's, kind he's, of he's fucking amazing it's the only way that makes sense he's a jedi yeah it's kind of amazing uh but then he breaks down the door into the the the, the maid's chambers the mm. princess's chambers and her lady maid comes up and is like no you can't don't do it and he grabs her and like lasers her eyeballs <laughs> and they not they not, dis they like just disappear yeah it's not that like her eyes are gone it's mm. like literally the her face is like skin now where like it's it like smooths over where her eyes were. It's very strange uh, what was going on there. But then he grabs her and then we kind of get the opening credits mm -hmm. and the score on these opening credits, this midi like medieval, like it's so good. It's like you got a Casio keyboard and turned on like old ye oldie music on your Casio yes. keyboard. <laughs> It's so good. I it, love uh, it. It's, it's right up there with uh, Stephen Grew, uh, Unexpected Reef, yes. the, the elf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's so good. I love it so much. <laughs> Then we're introduced to Ulrich and Michael. Mm. Ulrich is the older brother uh, who looks like Bob Seger, and Michael is the younger brother who looks like Alex Winter, and they're both wizards. Mm. Um, and they're, Michael they're, is still training. They are but, uh, white magic wizards. White magic yeah, wizards, which yes. I, I think is they're supposed to focus more on like wards and stuff and protection. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. Classic stuff. Yeah. I'll, I'll go. I'll go with my D and D mind of what I think uh, is the difference between a destructive and a restorative. There you magics. go. Exactly. Um, but they're they're kind of hanging out. But Ulrich's like, all right, enough training. We gotta go get fucking laid. We gotta get lit, baby. Where I take thee, little brother, thou shalt partake in the oldest magic on earth. What magic be in a tavern? There be wenches in a tavern. <laughs> and they go to the they go to yes. the local tavern, <laughs> the old tavern. But Ulrich, I I can't be taken away from my studies. Shut the fuck learn. up! It's time to go wenching. <laughs> It's what Ulrich has to say yeah. about that. <laughs> Not a bad sign, eh, Michael? Not bad at all. <laughs> oh, don't worry, there's more where that came from, baby brother. 
Uh, so they go into this tavern, and they're, uh, Ulrich is just pulling all the babes because he's Ulrich, the cool guy. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Michael is trying to like hit on this one girl who just doesn't care at all. She's like, fuck off, I don't care. My lady, are you not swooned? <laughs> yeah. Hello? Hello? And I love Ulrich comes in. He's like, "Tonight, Michael will kiss his boyhood. Uh, 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 will kiss his boyhood goodbye, among other things." <laughs> There's so much. Friends, greet my brother Michael, who on this day shall kiss his boyhood goodbye, among other things. <laughs> so many of the lines in this movie sound like. Oh, have God. you seen the movie Role Models? Yes. <laughs> yes. The guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, John Latrulio is the okay. actor's name. <laughs> he uh, he does all of the well, that just gingerly touch our tips. I can't believe my eyes. A minotaur. Good morrow, sir. Good morrow to you. Good morning. Keep your blade sharp and your wits sharper. Ah, Lebo, look at you. A visage. Men, get ready to dance with swords. <laughs> so much of the lines in this movie are just that guy. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> it's fucking incredible. Clown, only a fool would mistake us from here, gestures. Speak on that. Drop it in your dick. Mine is bigger than thine. Yield. What lovely vessel has Mercury delivered upon us today? And in such strange and frightful attire. Oh, I love it. And also, I could not get over how they're all in, you know, like, red and fair clothes, which I read on the trivia. There was, like, one trivia fact for this, and it makes a lot of sense. Um, there's, uh, they used a lot of the extras and stuff where people from the Society for something, anachronism, it's, it's SCA, I can't remember what the C stands mm. for, but it's basically, like, people who do, um, uh, Ren Fairs, but but they do like yeah, essentially mm. like uh, for lack of a better term, it's more complicated than that. It, is, it, are, is it like medieval times? No, it, it's like it, it's basically a lot. Of the people that do SCA, a lot of them go to like Ren Fairs and stuff yeah. like that. But a lot of a lot of SCA, I think, is based around like actual like um, HEMA, like doing like fencing and stuff. Oh, like, okay, but anyways, yeah, yeah. But, so it's all these people already had all the costumes and everything, so mm. they just had them come and be in the movie basically. <laughs> but also SCA, I think they specifically do things where they have to like you have to like talk and act like you have to be in mm -hmm. character the whole time and stuff like that. I don't know enough a, lo a lot about SCA. I'm sure it, it sounds pretty sick in, in my opinion, but. The SCA, as it's commonly called, is an international organization dedicated to researching and recreating the arts, skills, and traditions of pre-17th century Europe. Anyway, so that's a lot of the extras and stuff in this, but so they have all these costumes and all these like Ren Faire clothes, but then everybody's hair is just the most late 80s hair <laughs> ever. Yes, especially Ulrich's. It's yes. like so perfectly like just feathered. feathered and lethal, baby. It's incredible. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I will say there's some actually really interesting shots. So basically they then they're in this tavern and they get they get clubbed like, like some guards come in. They're like mm. club them over the head and then drag them to the king. We're like, what? OK. But did you notice that there's a shot when they get drugged to oh, the yeah. king? That wide shot down the hall, there's like people on a balcony. Mm. Above. It actually looks pretty there, good. There are a lot of impressive shots that seem to only kind of exist in this medieval. Yeah. Time. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how they pulled it off, but it was. They clearly also, whoever like the cinematographer and stuff on this knew at least somewhat what they were doing. Mm -hmm. This movie is cheesy as fuck, and it's and the effects <laughs> yes. are terrible, and the acting is mediocre. I think that, I think they had somebody else in control of the cinematography yeah. for all the medieval stuff, and oh. then for all the LA stuff, they had another. Yeah, but even that I think is fairly competently shot. Like I, yeah. I, I guess the thing that surprised me is that for how cheap and shitty so much of this movie looks, it doesn't look. It's not shot like a super cheap shitty movie. Mm. I mean, it's not the most amazing thing in the world, but we're not seeing boom mics in shots. We're not seeing like super flat stuff. Like it, it, like somebody who at least knew how to block a scene and like <laughs> and 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 uh, shoot a camera knew like was involved in this in, in, in a way that it contrasts very starkly with like. <laughs> The overall vibe of the whole movie, yeah. which is just like a bunch of kids in in, in playing dress up and running we, we, around LA. Yeah, they, they do well enough to to make you kind of have a uh, continuation of what what am I saying, Brian? <laughs> they do well enough to make you believe in this world the way it was shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm trying. They to They establish say. a sense of verisimilitude. What? <laughs> I think, that's, I, I think that's the right word. I thought my brain was shot for a second. Versimilitude. 
Yeah, the appearance of being true or real. That's... What? <laughs> I'm smarter than you. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, so they get drugged in front of the king, and the king is like, you've been accused of conspiring against the kingdom. You are hereby banished or, you know, uh, condemned to death. For thy crime, I shall be burned at the stake, and thy ashes thrown to the winds. Sire, what is our crime? We didn't do God, anything. Gag this witch before he curses us all. You will be lit on fire and fucking murder. Well, they're like, like, who's bringing charges against yeah. us? And they bring out somebody who was like, well, I was captured and, and tortured. My hands were cut off and my tongue cut out. My throat slit. They cut off my hands, my feet, my ears, and my balls. And still I spoke not. They gouged out my eyes and split my belly open, and though I did plead for mercy, still I did not divulge thy royal secret. It was really a bother, and, <laughs> and, and these two came along and brought me back to life. Yeah. We found thy remains by the road and cast spells to restore thy flesh and recall thy soul from chaos. <laughs> the necromancer confesses. I was like... I thought they were <laughs> implying, and I think it, he implies that they did the torturing as well. I no, no, because they, he uh, says they committed necromancy. Well, yes. Okay, but I thought, because initially they, he says all that, and then they go, we didn't do that. We didn't. We just found you dead, and we brought oh, you right, back right, to life. Right, and right, then yeah. the king's like, well, that's necromancy. That's illegal, yeah, too. That's bad, too. Yeah. So you're gonna, yeah, you're, you got to get yeah. burned. Finally, they tired of their sport, slit my throat, and I died. We did not do this thing, sire. But I thought it was because I was very confused while he's reading, like while that guy, the British guy, comes in and is like, "They cut off my hands," and I look at him like, "Well, you still got fucking hands," and they slit open my belly, and I'm like, "It doesn't seem like," and, and, and then all I could think was, "I got better." Well, she turned me into a newt. A newt. I got better. <laughs> like, exactly. Exactly. It's, it is the most British thing to be like. Well, uh, all these terrible things happened, and they brought me back to life. It was. It was quite a bother, really. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah. Slit my throat, and I died. Oh fuck! But anyway, so they're like, "Look, we'll do anything for you. Please don't murder us. <laughs> we're wizards. Uh, we're white wizards, or whatever. We're good mm -hmm. wizards. We'll do anything you need." And I love. He's like anything, and it's these two shirtless guys, and then he's like anything, and they're like anything. And he's like clear the hall, and I was like, "We know where this, we know where this is going." <laughs> uh, Command anything. 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 Clear the court. Uh, no, I need you to take part in this uh, epic battle, um, even though you're my prisoner yeah. and you have no reason to trust me and I yeah. have no reason to trust no, you. No, yeah, he's like, I'll let you go if you go save my daughter. My daughter got kidnapped. <laughs> Please go save my daughter and defeat the evil Lord Saladin or whatever. Yes. Thou shalt do battle for me. We are not soldiers, sire. My opponent is Saladin. Sooner face the heads, I'll light my own fire, thank you. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. Uh, and I love that they're like, but even our father dare not face him in wizardly combat. <laughs> <laughs> but Salatin is the most dangerous sorcerer in the land. Even our father dare not oppose him in wizardly combat. <laughs> wizardly combat fucking got me, Kyle. Oh, it got God. Me so good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wizardly combat? <laughs> to sleep a chance to dream. But they're like, all right, we'll do it. Basically, Ulrich agrees. He's like, all right, we'll do it. And I love. Uh, yes, like, yeah, yeah. How how will we identify yeah. her? She has this birthmark above her at her left breast. Yes, yeah. Thou shalt know her by this mark. Seek it by the maiden's breast. Love a royal birthmark, Kyle. I'm a big fan of the royal birthmark. God. It's so fun. Let us see that which makes it special. Hey, how will she be not the princess? But anyway, so yeah, they're like, all right, cool, we'll do it. And they head out on their adventure. They're walking through the woods, but they got to get some information. So they stumble across a dead body, like a prison, like a somebody that had been hung or something yeah. in the woods. And they reanimate this corpse to commune with the ancient spirits or whatever. To be fair, to be fair, that is a spell in D&D &D that is called Speak With Dead. A kill. Seeks audience 
with the old ones. Yeah, but actually, I will say, I, the lore within this universe kind of works-ish. Like, it it feels more thought out than a lot of similar movies would have done. And it could be, yeah, they're just stealing stuff from, like, D&D or whatever. Um, but it is it feels more thought out and reasonable than a lot of similar type of movies, like, magic and stuff does, at least to some extent. I don't even have a clue what's going on. Later, we just kind of get laser fingers. Yeah. But, like... <laughs> uh, they are able to find the dude's hideout pretty damn quickly yeah um yeah there they are uh well and they also when they're communing with the ancient spirits we we have to set this up because it's kind of important uh the ancient spirits like tell michael that he's not actually ulrich's brothers they're stepbrothers <laughs> yeah. because michael's mom died in childbirth and so he had a different mother so they're stepbrothers not actual brothers ulrich is my true and beloved brother stepbrother only Salatin destroyed thy father and caused Ulrich's mother to die in childbirth. And Ulrich's like, well, you're my actual brother. Like, whatever. It, it doesn't really matter, but it's just like a little thing on the side. Ulrich? What is it now? Thou art my brother. Yes, I am. Now chant on Karah. He dare not resist. Anyway, so then they get to like a cave, mm. which has like an altar to... I don't know where they say it is, but it's like an altar to Saladin yeah. or whatever. And it seems like it's like his conduit to the past, if that makes any sense. Oh, I guess because, yeah, he's in the future. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, because they don't know where he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But they're able to like, they're like, we got to awaken him or we got to communicate with him. And they're going to do some sort they're of gonna magic. Do a, yeah, they're going to do like a, like a desecration yeah. of like holy water and whatnot. He's got it's like, like dirt and he's going to do no, something. No, I've yeah. got a better idea, brother. We'll piss on his altar. Piss on his altar. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I was like, that's a lot of fun. They just piss on it. And he's like, hey, hey, who's down there pissing on my altar? And they're like, it's us. <laughs> uh, fuck you. Ah, no, I do. The smell of thy mother and thy corruption sickens me. Release the princess or prepare for wizardly combat. I mean, anyways, we get this great superimposed face on the statue. Yeah. And we get so many times where they will cut out like eyes or a face and like stick them on something. And it's always fucking <laughs> hilarious. Um, but I also love the lighting in this cave. There's just neon lights. Every, like the wall is like neon for pink for and, some and, reason. You know, magic, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? It looks great though, Preston I love it. Agitation. <laughs> I legitimately thought, which is, this is a little bit early for that, but when they walked into this cave initially, I was like, wait, did they break into the set for the Legends of the Hidden Temple? <laughs> is that where they're filming this? Because that's what it looked they like. They pissed on it, Old Mac wakes up. Who is there? <laughs> it's my temple. Watch the first game show that lets kids live out legendary adventures. Watch Legends of the Hidden Temple today at 6 30 Central. Kirk, Kirk, I told you to stop getting drunk and pissing on my altar. Kirk Fogg is the host of the classic game show, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Hey, Kirk Fogg here, your guide to Nickelodeon's Legends of the Hidden Temple. It's my temple. Right, old Mac. And Good Better Bad Bad alum, yes. Distortion. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a decade after Legends of the Hidden Temple, but Kirk Fogg was like, damn it. I can be a serious actor <laughs> slash writer slash director. Yes. And this is his magnum opus. <laughs> Why'd you go and do that? Why did he go? Why'd you go? Oh, fuck. Um, but anyway, so basically, uh, he's like, fuck off. A, a thousand years, something about a thousand years yeah, in the yeah. future. Yeah. So they need to figure out how to travel a thousand years in the future. Fine. Sacked a thousand years, seek that there are no angels, and was never over. <laughs> And they just summon Merlin. They, yeah, Mer <laughs> hey Merlin, we got an issue. Hey, little tiny Merlin hologram, <laughs> we need you. Yes. <laughs> Babylonie. Michael, think of something. It's gonna at that least do so. So magic. Oh, and he just pops out of the fire and they're like, all right. Uh, and then Michael, uh, he, basically Merlin's like, oh, sure, I'll send you to the future and I'll give one of you power of some sort. I, I, can, I can only monitor one of you. Yes. I can only uh, give my, my wisdom and power to one. Yes, and then the other one will have to get by on their own cunning is, mm. is what he says. And, and immediately Ulrich's like, give it to Michael. And he's like, all right, it's done. I can only guide and protect one, if any. One will be on his own and will have to substitute cunning. Oh, Give thy aid to Michael. 
so be. No, Ulrich, you Now should... go ye forth a thousand years. And Michael's like, no, wait, what? And so Michael is like kind of protected, I guess, mm-hmm. or whatever, whereas Ulrich is not. Uh, and then he immediately voips them into the future. And yes. oh my God, the, the shots of them traveling into the future. It's so good. Do battle with Saladin. <laughs> It's, they're like flying. It's <laughs> it's like a it's like a fucking uh it's <laughs> you lived in or no you didn't live in St. Louis. Have you ever seen Becky the Carpet Queen commercials from St. Louis? There's God this, no. There are these old commercials uh for a carpet store uh starring Becky the Carpet Queen and she rides around on a magic carpet and they're very terrible and funny but she's like in front of a green screen flying around on a magic carpet. What's the number one gift for the holidays? You got it. Carpeting. Give the gift that keeps on giving. New carpet from Becky. We decorate for the holidays and enjoy the beautiful difference new flooring makes all year long. And it reminds me so much of this where they're like, they're laying and they're like Superman flying through like space. What in the... <laughs> Oh, only St. Louis OGs will know about (laughs) Becky the Carpet Queen, let me tell you. Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm Becky the Queen of Carpet. And I'm Wanda, Princess of Tile. At our stores, you'll ride high on our low prices. Um, But yeah, the shots of them flying through space time are fucking incredible. Uh, But then they land in modern day LA, cars everywhere, and they're like, oh, a vest. We get a classic fish out of water. Yeah, they're like in a park, then, which is, I guarantee you, just inside the 30 miles. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Uh, But then they're walking around on like Hollywood Boulevard. (laughs) And I love the I shot. Think, I, I love how they do this. They start off in uh, in in this park, right? Yeah. And they're like making their way, and immediately we cut to Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. There's like, okay, that, that is cool. there, and they're like, huh, huh. it's very Whoa. funny. Oh Whoa. my god. Uh, constantly uh, trying to get a sword out and ready to go. It's like, look, all these people own their own castles. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Um, Nary a fetch house among them. Look at all these castles. Are all these people kings? But then as they're walking down this street, this random guy with a boombox yeah. walks by, and it's like the first black guy they saw, and immediately Ulrich's like, I will fucking kill you! And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and, the, and the guy's like, what the fuck is your problem? And walks over to a cop and is like, that guy threatened me with a yeah, sword. With a sword. <laughs> yeah. And then the cops come over and they're like, hey man, you got a sword? Hey clown, drop the sword, now! And he's like, yeah, drop, yeah. drop the sword. Drop it, Nave. My weapon's larger than knees. Drop it or you're dead. Mine is bigger than thine. Yield. My weapon is larger than thou's. Yield is what he says. It's so good. Uh, and I love there's just a giant crowd of people standing around <laughs> yes. watching this. Oh, my God. Um, there was so much of them filming on Hollywood Bo- Boulevard yes. right here. Was, it felt very much like... Uh, like uh, in Ed Wood, like the uh, Johnny Depp Ed Wood, yeah, yeah, yeah. where like, we don't have a permit. Run, <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a permit. Run. And I love that the, the, as they're getting arrested, they're getting put in the car right before they're getting put in the car. Uh, <laughs> Ulrich yells at the cop. He's like, return thine sword and fight me, you shit wait, shit-eating lout. <laughs> return my weapon and fight me fairly, thy shit-eating lout. Eating loud is good. Oh, God. But they get him and they like shove him in the police car, and the police car drives away, and the and camera just, pans over to the crowd. Yeah, they just teleport into the crowd. Yeah, and they just walk out of the crowd, and the crowd's like, Yay! Yeah. It was like, what? what is going hey, on? Hey, these guys just committed assault in the next game, police car. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> It was like, one of you, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if the guy who reported them to the police was standing there like, yeah, it's like, he threatened you with a sword. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, my God. Um, what an ass. But then they're just kind of walking around and they stumble into a production of The Princess and the Pea. <laughs> Which is just super random, and they're just like, "Oh, look, the princess!" But that's not the princess. And then they just leave. It's like nothing happens yes. here. They just immediately leave. Oh no, they go out back to wait for the actors because they think they'll know where the princess is or something like they that. They don't know shit. <laughs> and they walk out, and they think maybe the princess is the princess. Yes, because she walks out with one of the other actors, and they run over and start. <laughs> Ulrich 
just starts trying to rip her blouse down to see if she <laughs> has, has it. the birthmark. And she's like, I, How did I know doing? this was going to happen? <laughs> and then all the other actors circle around him like they're going to beat up these guys. I'm like, You guys are fucking actors. What is going on? Um, but they're, they're able to, like, they just get over, they run away from mm. them. Or they freeze time. I think he freezes all yeah. of them. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> And runs away, and then they just stumble into a warrior street game. Yes. <laughs> Yo, look what we got here. Hey, you're a long way from home, ain't you, Slick? Yes, we are. Do you know Shut what? up, Wimp. You're on a wrong turf. And we're gonna whip your dumbasses so you won't forget again. <laughs> Uh, like everybody has like their own like pipes, machetes, yeah. their leather jackets with with studs and stuff. Yeah. And then Michael just gets his shit kicked in over and over again. Like he gets hit with a baseball bat like a dozen times in this fight. <laughs> Uh, but he start, eventually starts shooting green lasers pew, at pew, people. Pew, pew, it's pew, fucking pew. hilarious. But they keep, like, this fight keeps dragging out. Like, yeah, they almost it, get away. It gets and loud, get and, away. and some guy is like, hey, keep it down out there. What, I yeah. got to call the cops? Yeah. And then, in the weirdest turn of events the ever. The biggest ask? <laughs> yes. They're, they start trying to cast some spell. Mm. Oh, spirits of the iron woods, deep within the immortal's blood. Night is cool, stars are cold. I hope we live long enough to get old. That's not it. I forgot it. And the guy from the window hears that and goes, wait a second. That sounds familiar. Runs to his Those, bookcase. And he just happens to have like the necrona the ne ne necromonicon or whatever the fuck they pronounce it. Well, but the, the Oh uh, no, necromonicon. Yeah. Necromancer. <laughs> or whatever. God. Yeah. Necromancer. Um, uh, he just starts reciting the same spell they do and summons them into the room. Yes, he summons them up to his apartment. We who Merlin sought to teach, give us refuge, we beseech. We are trying to teach. Give us refuge. We must see. <laughs> Damn, it worked! Finally, yeah. And they immediately start accosting his girlfriend, trying to see if she has the birthmark. <laughs> and then they're eventually they're like, ah, and they get it sorted out. Um, uh, and they start having drinks together. And it just turns out this random guy is like wants to be a wizard. <laughs> yeah, like, what the? Now has studied much magic. Yeah, as much as I can. Uh, well, I also know other people who are into magic, you know, some of the good stuff, and a few play with the black magic. What are the odds? What are the My favorite thing odds? is, like, they're having drinks and stuff, and, like, you have Ulrich, like, drinking whiskey, which, I mean, they probably had whiskey back yeah. in that day. Well, or, or something similar, yeah. Or maybe. mead, or yeah. something like that. And then... He like opens a sprite and he starts chugging sprite. And whiskey. Ulrich discovers whiskey and soda. He's like, "This is great." He is a sorcerer who trades death for power. He walks enshrouded in the vapors of souls he has destroyed. He'll still. It's very funny. I liked that moment a lot. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. But anyway, so they're talking to him. We're like, "Look, we got to find the princess. We need uh, your help. You can show us around because you know this place or whatever." And he doesn't want to do it, and his girlfriend doesn't want him to do it, but then they're like, we'll make you a wizard. Help us, and we will make thee a wizard. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. Like, Hell he yeah! He's like, fuck yeah, I've always wanted to be a wizard! <laughs> It's so ridiculous. Uh, so then they're walking, they're like, he's taking them somewhere, and they get attacked by a ghost car. <laughs> Salatin, like, oh, yeah, he possesses, possesses a, a car. car. <laughs> and it's so clearly that somebody is laying in the driver's seat, probably with yeah. like a mirror on the ceiling so they can see, like, driving this car around. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> But they get chased around by this ghost car, and then eventually they're able to get in a car and drive away, and they go, I don't know, 
I don't remember. Oh, I guess they get a license plate from the car that was chasing them. Yes. And that leads and them to a house. So Tommy is the guy who is wanting to become the wizard. Yes, Tommy is the, yeah, he's the human. And he just happens to know somebody who can stuff. run license plates? Yeah. Hello? Tommy, this is Hank. I ran that plate for you. It belongs to Salvatore Tino, Hobbs Horse Farm in New Home. Oh, great. Oh, thanks, Sarge. I owe you one. Yeah, well, they say it in a voiceover. I think what happened here is that they didn't know how to connect these parts. Yeah. And then afterwards, there's a voiceover from, like, they're dri we just get a wide shot of them driving in the car, and Tommy goes, Thankfully, I was able to contact my friend at the police station to run those license plates and give us an address to where we can go. I'll have to thank him later. <laughs> and it's like, okay. All right, great. Fantastic. Cool. Um, but they go out into the middle of nowhere to this old ass manor. Yeah. <laughs> and they go inside and they're like investigating. <laughs> and there's a room with just a giant coffin in it. <laughs> They like look at it and they open it and like smoke comes billowing out, but it's just like a, a skeleton or whatever mm. laying in there. And they're like, all right, Tommy, you stay here next to the creepy ass coffin. Oh yeah, totally. We'll go upstairs and look around. Wait here while Michael and I check the chamber above. And then meanwhile, Tommy's like standing by the bookcase, like looking at stuff. And it, this shot's actually really cool. I don't know, like it's like shot from like right in front, right next to the coffin in the foreground, and Tommy's in the background. Mm. And you see, you expect it, but it's still, you see the the coffin creaks a little bit, and the smoke starts coming out yeah. of it, and then it comes up, and it's a great shot. And then it cuts to the reverse, and there's a fucking spirit Halloween skeleton with laser eyes going. Meh. It goes from such a good moment to such yeah. a terrible moment so fucking quickly. It, they don't follow the principle, less is more. Yes. We just get this plastic skeleton with laser eyes like, Brr, so fucking bad. Uh, but he falls through a bookcase. Yeah. Like he like stumbles into a secret bookcase. Uh, which goes down to the basement, right? And it goes down to the, the the basement, and then he gets down there, and he sees... The princess. Yes, the and, princess and, and Salatin, uh, yeah. who's the, the evil wizard. And they're both, like, in stasis, basically. Yes. Like, sleeping. Uh, m m uh, Michael goes and puts some, like, wards over his eyes. Oh, my God, yeah. Ears. He goes and gets the other guys. Yeah, they come down there. He goes and gives him, like, a, bl a magical blindfold and yes, earmuffs. He literally <laughs> puts a fucking magic blind or uh, sleeping mask and earmuffs over him. And they look so goofy. He's like, Rrr. he's got like these green sunglasses on. It's so ridiculous. It's amazing. I love that moment so much. They get her, they wake her up, and they're like, we got to get out of here, princess. And as they're leaving, I guess something happens and Salatin wakes up and he's like, Rrr! and starts shooting spells at them yeah. as they're running away. Princess, can face the full measure of my wrath. Hey, lighten up, dude. You're so intense. <laughs> And then so they're able to get out and then they, they're able to escape and they get away. But then they're they're like running down the street. And then all of a sudden the gang from earlier shows up. But now, now they're, they're like zombies. Undead, yeah. <laughs> the, I guess the Salatin somehow like possessed them, I guess, is the idea. Uh, uh, so they <laughs> they. they Get the princess kind of out of there, or I guess they turn her invisible. They turn her invisible with that necklace, which is so weird and so stupid because yeah. they just have this floating necklace. And there's a shot later after this whole scene ends. Uh, and, and Undead have a life sight, Brian, okay? It, it allows them to see living creatures so they would be able to perceive through this. Tell that to the movie, <laughs> Kyle. I don't know. But I love when they leave, they don't take the necklace off her right away. So they walk mm. down the street with her invisible in this necklace and our and Michael like has his arm around her, but it's so clear the necklace is like, like tied glued. to his yeah. arm, yeah. like dangling as it was so Jeez. silly. Um but anyways, they get in a big fight here. <clears throat> um and they're just like killing everybody. Yeah, they're using um, magic and stuff. To he tosses Tommy the sword, the sword and is like, "Here, defend yourself." He's like, "How the fuck he doesn't know how to use a sword? <laughs> what is going on?" Hulk, Thomas, defend thyself. 
So they're able to uh, get away. Tommy, oh, it gets down to one guy, and Tommy yeah. gets into a fight. <laughs> and with then him. the brothers are like, ha- betting. like Betty News. <laughs> Tension is on the reject. Done. He like, and Tommy's like getting slashed in the torso. Yeah. (laughs) And then, uh, so he, but Tommy ends up winning his fight because Michael like cheats and like steals Mm. the sword from the, the zombie guy and Tommy kills him. And then they go back to Tommy's apartment and I love his girlfriend's character so much. Yes. They start moving all the furniture and stuff because they have to make like a special protection <laughs> spell. <laughs> They're also like, we need to get down to the wood quickly. Remove the skins from the floor. This yeah. rug that they the just rug pull, they up. pull up. Yeah, the skins. We must remove the skins. And I love his girlfriend. Tommy's girlfriend walks in and is like, I liked the furniture how it was. Nil Ramal, Nil Ramal, Ty Nil Ramal. What is going on? I like the furniture the way it was. Silence! <laughs> and then she's like, what are you doing to my floor? It's very fun. I don't know. I thought her character was yeah. fantastic. I don't believe this. What are you doing to my floor? Ellen, please. Come on. Shh. I guess they do like a circle of protection with like wax and salt. Yeah. Yeah, they have candles and they basically make like a, yeah, they draw a a protection circle of some sort. And they're like, all right, we got to go look for Salatin to defeat him or whatever. Uh, uh, Tommy's girlfriend, you stay here and make sure the candles don't go out. And Princess, don't move. Don't move. For the rest of this movie. Really hope you don't have to take a shit. (laughs) We need thy help. Thou must guard the princess while we combat the villain. Tommy. Thou needs only to see to the candles. If they go out, we are lost. Anyway, so then they got to go do some research. They split up. Uh, oh, also, uh, Salatin just knows how to project himself onto televisions and radios. Oh, yeah, that's right. He projects into their living room, and it's like, I'm here, or in, onto the TV, and, like, threatens them or whatever. A mine. Grow stronger. No! Not close the window. But so they go their separate ways. Uh, Michael and uh, Tommy go to do research at some li- at his university yes. library. <laughs> who, who happens to have like ancient occult books? Right. Okay. They, they get in there and there's a, like a funny scene where he's trying to like get permission to go do research and mm. he has to fill out for it. Whatever. It's kind of funny, but it's whatever. You are not a registered researcher. Okay. Okay. So, how do I become a registered researcher? Register. But they get down to the basement, and yes, there's a room down there, completely disregarded, full of cobwebs and rats and all kinds of stuff. With books from the fucking 1000 AD? Years ago. This was made 500 years after I died. This might make more sense with like in a much older city like Boston or something. Yeah, at the very at then. the very least. Yeah, even then. But like like LA is only as a city has only existed for like a hundred and some odd years well, at and, this point. And if you had those books, they would be in super protected. Yes. Like they're, they're, they're these are like no, ancient artifacts. Yeah, they're just on the they're shelf a, down there. They're not even on a sh- they're in a pile. Oh, a pile, yeah. <laughs> it's like on a table in a pile, like uh, covered in rats. I do like how Michael opens a book. He says, Oh, it's written by me. <laughs> I wrote this book a thousand years ago. Yeah. And, but it's from the future of his life. And he's like, Look, I defeat a dragon in X year or whatever. And he's like, Well, we must win, because if I wrote this book, then you know, we 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 know we succeed. See now because I have Tommy's to be alive like, to write the book. <laughs> Tommy for a second is like, wait, 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 multiverse theory. <laughs> Did you know I once killed a dragon? Don't you see? This is written. We do prevail. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, Michael, written or not, we still have to do it. Otherwise, it's just a written legend. Oh, I also have to talk about how they get into that library room. It's actually, I love this scene so much. It's locked, and mm. Michael walks up oh. <laughs> and just like flirts with the lock and gets it to open. It's Sir Lock. Wouldst thou do us the honor of opening for us? I am told thou art the strongest of lock and can hold back an army. But there are those who claim thou cannot open without thy key. Canst thou? And I love his I've got, explanation. I've got, to, I've got to try this in D&D yes. sometime. You just go up to a lock and you roll a diplomacy check yeah. on it. <laughs> he talks to the lock. He's like, yeah, you look like a pretty sturdy lock, but... It would be a pretty shitty lock if you couldn't open. I bet you can't open, you piece of shit lock. He negs the lock, and the lock opens. 
But there are those who claim thou cannot open without thy key. Canst thou? God. <laughs> I love it so much. He's like, the locks are very vain. And I thought, I don't know. I thought that was very funny. I like that scene a lot. Locks are very vain. Ulrich oh, once got out of jail by telling a lock he was in love with it. But anyways, uh, then the librarian shows up possessed <laughs> by yes. like a, a fucking demon. <laughs> Uh, and there's actually a pretty good shot where she's like grabbing Tommy and like their tongue is like, that, like yeah it was like zi zipping in and yeah. out and Tommy was like oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was constantly trying to go down his throat yeah. I thought it was pretty good I thought that looked pretty good could have looked worse at least Also, I couldn't get over. I love I I love the fact that Tommy is is obsessed and wants to be a wizard because he doesn't look anything like the character that no. you would make be that no. character. Like if normally if you were writing this movie, that character would be like a goth kid or something. You know what I mean? Like would be like some kind of Tom, loner weirdo. Tom, Tommy looks like the kind of guy who in five years is going to be a tax accountant. I was gonna say he looks like your high school's varsity quarterback. That's like he looks, yeah. like he looks like a, and, and it actually comes back at the end. I just picked the wrong sport. Apparently, he was apparently like the star baseball player because there's a scene later with that. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, I love that it's just like a dude, like a jockey dude, but he wants, he's very much wants to be a wizard. It's the funniest fucking thing to me. It just reminds know. me of the the 1980s D and D cartoon. Where uh, the uh, paladin warrior dude uh, is the is the jock guy, and he's like he's like wearing his uh, his sports jersey for, yeah. for the entire show. Hey, look! Dungeons and Dragons ride. Wow, neat! Give me a break. Meanwhile, Auric is out just walking the streets uh, and like getting horny. I don't yeah. know what. <laughs> yeah. He sees one woman and he's like, oh my God. No. Ulrich, stray not from thy sworn duty. Uh, and he walks past the prostitute and he's like, no, I got to do it. But then he hears Ulrich, a voice. Yeah. Ulrich, give in to your horniness. <laughs> Ulrich, 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 go to the hall. Ulrich, go to the hall. Go fuck her. <laughs> and he's like, all right. And he walks over and they haggle and he's like trying to like, because he's got like gold coins or whatever. You there, wench. How much for your time? <laughs> yeah. For him, what's it worth? A shilling. Twelve pennies, of course. Damn foreigners, twelve cents. Um, but anyway, so then he uh, he he goes go oh. in with her. <laughs> I like how they describe British currency back in the day. Oh yeah, that's one shilling. It's worth, it's worth 12, twelve pennies. pennies. Yeah, <laughs> she's like twelve pennies, and he's like, yeah, I don't know, it's a lot. <laughs> um, but anyway, so they're able to get in, or he does hire, and they go into her apartment or whatever. And he's she's like, I need to freshen up, and he goes into the bathroom, and we get fun like. Uh, out of fish out of water bathroom hijinks where he's like considering pissing in the sink because he doesn't understand how it works and then he picks up the plunger and it's like playing with the plunger it's all very right. silly um but then salatin just shows up in, in the, mirror. the mirror and they have this whole conversation now i'm more tuned to the world than thy stepbrother be gone by when i shall deal with these over it. give me that job how can i I charge off no avails. Do not fight me. And the whole time I was like, Kyle, what if she's sitting outside listening? She to was. She was. I heard you talking to yourself in the bathroom earlier. Bad sign, babe. She's hearing this oh one-sided conversation <laughs> and she still like lets him stay. I would have been like, when he walked out of the bathroom, I'm like, so I gotta go. <laughs> um, yep. I'm sorry. We got yep. here, Here's your money back. And he's I like gotta go. screaming, no. Yeah. I need a son. A princess shall marry that son. 
a royal son of my no! flesh and blood. No! Son of God and sorceress blood shall claim the throne, and I shall have power over the centuries. No! <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, I guess I'll still sleep with him. I'm like, nope, absolutely not. You need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. She's um, just, she is providing excellent customer service, Brian. <laughs> yeah. I also love when he gets there, she starts to undress him, and then it's just too much shit, and she's like, why don't you do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like he's got all this shit on, and she's like, I don't know what to do with all this. Why don't you uh, get out of these things, and I'll be right back. Uh, and then he kills her for like, yes. no reason. I guess Because at this evil. point, he he's, he's given evil. in. Yeah, uh, and, and it's the spirit of Salatin or whatever possessing him. I pledge myself and my magic to thee, Lord Salat. What? <coughs> In thy name, Salat. And then he walks through a random park and just like entrances two random people to have sex with each other in the park for no reason because he can do whatever he wants he's he's free kyle to use his power as he wishes and the way he wishes is to make Heat random people <laughs> fuck in the park yeah it's fantastic meanwhile then tommy and uh michael go and find a fortune teller that tommy knows yes who he used to sleep with Yes. And she's made him good, irresistible to women, and she says basically. It was. It's very there strange. Was, there was something when they were, talk, when they were talking oh, about yeah. like, the history where I was a little like, okay. This. Yeah, no, she, yeah, he was 16 when they, yeah. When are we going round again? <laughs> Come on, as well as what, 16? I mean, you said it would give me powers. Well, you haven't had any trouble with the little girl since. Hmm? Or wait, where were you talking? No, that, that was the yeah, one I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, not great, because she's clearly not like also she clearly wasn't also 16 at the time. Yeah. She was clearly like in her 30s at the time. So yeah, no, not good. Um, but uh they uh they they're talking to her and she like does a little thing with her crystal ball mm. and is sees Salatin and she's like, fuck this. <laughs> I don't I'm not into this shit. Mm. Uh you guys figure this out on your own. But then I love she goes to like do something, she's like, I gotta like cleanse this or whatever. And she walks over to the thing, and then there's a skull on the shelf that gets these fucking glowing eyes <laughs> superimposed. It looks so bad. It looks so bad, man. Oh, my God. Um, uh, and then, so they get out of there, and they're like, I, I don't even remember what she tells them or, like, what information she gives them. But she gets, they, so, Somebody's in trouble, probably. You know, whatever. Uh, meanwhile, we cut back, and... Uh, the princess who's in the circle, uh, his girlfriend's like, I gotta go to work. I'm out of here. Just, yes. <laughs> do you need anything to eat? No? Okay, bye. And leaves. And then Ulrich comes in. Ulrich shows up and he's like, I must make it with the princess. Princess, we could be together. Could thou ever love one such as I? No. It would be forbidden. If the law were changed, could thee? I know not. I'll be back at eight. Good luck. Um, but he breaks the circle and takes her out, and then Salatin shows up yeah. and kidnaps her. And now she's so she has been kidnapped once again. Arise, my bride, and come to thy beloved. Come to me, fair Lady Moon, and be wed to Salatin, the dark master of sorcery. Then we get a very terrible, like earlier we had driving shots that were clearly actual driving shots like in a car on the road yes and this, and this one <laughs> is so fucking ridiculous thomas what ulrich is in danger when i reached out to tell him of our progress i find the same black wall of protection i find when i seek salatin it's, it's yeah. because they needed that zoom in shot on him yeah it's tommy and and uh michael in the car and it's it, it, a green it, screen it's a green screen background and it's so it looks so bad it's amazing um, but they find out that they basically, um, they have to, he, he realizes something's wrong with Ulrich. He can't like, he can't project and, yes. and find Ulrich with his mind or whatever. Uh, and Tommy suggests, uh, maybe we'll uh, see what's going on there. We got to find a phone. So they go up to a pay phone. Kids, pay phones existed. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they go to a pay phone. He calls his apartment and his girlfriend doesn't pick up. And then he, uh, Michael's like, well, here, maybe I can try it. It's like, motherfucker, this is like 800 years removed from the invention of the, well, I guess it'd be 900 years removed from the invention of the telephone. Yeah. But, but who are you calling? And he just tell, like, telepathically, telepathically dials a bar yeah, that Ulrich, Ulrich is at. Is. Now what? You dial the number of whoever it is you want to talk to. 
that where he has frozen everybody and is just stealing drinks it's or great. whatever. And he walks over and Ulrich just answers the phone and um basically says uh I think they talk this is where they talk about the Marshall Electronics or whatever. They're like yes. the final confrontation will be at Marshall Electronics. We meet for battle at a place called Marshall Electronics. Make haste. <laughs> So stupid. It's like it's like uh, having like a model army fight. Yeah, um, but they go, they get to this office building which has a warehouse again. Uh, but they're walking into the office, and actually, this opening part I thought was kind of fun. It's everybody's like frozen. Everybody's frozen. Yeah. Like the receptionist, like the phone is like. Burp, burp, burp. Excuse me, Miss. Wood. And they're like, whoa. And they walk in, they open in like a random conference room, and there's like a guy and a girl like in the <laughs> middle of doing it in the conference room. And I thought that scene was pretty yeah. fun. Like, that's a good little moment. There's like a woman in the middle of like pouring coffee or whatever. Um, but then they get to the warehouse in the back. Uh, and when they get to the warehouse, Salatin is in there uh, murdering some random guy with a flaming demon. Yes. Who <laughs> what <laughs> the? Yeah. It was like, it was supposed to be the skull of hell or something like that. I don't know. Sphere of hell or whatever. Sure. Yeah. He says like sphere of hell or something like that. Uh, and he, he just explodes. Yeah. The guy just catches on fire and explodes. Like, do you mean the guy's? Yeah. 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 Um, and I just love, it's clearly a hula hoop on fire on a string, <laughs> just like flying towards him. It's so amazing. But then, uh, so basically they get in and Michael challenges Salatin. He's like, I challenge you, Lord of Magic, to a duel to see who is the true Lord of Magic. I, Michael Redland, Merlin Knight Wizard, challenge thee to combat by magic. Uh, and so they just start casting spells and every spell Michael casts at him just bounces off or like goes around him and he can't figure out why because Salatin isn't doing anything. Yeah. He's just standing there. <laughs> But then we see, because Tommy is hiding like in the boxes, and we see that and Ulrich, Ulrich is, is casting there, like wards and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like protecting him or whatever. And so Tommy kind of follows Ulrich uh, back through these boxes and all that kind of stuff. Ulrich! And then at one point, Tommy gets up there and confronts him. And I swear, did you notice this? Tommy shoots a spell that is just his fit, like a spirit yes, version of it his fist. This. Rocket punch! Yeah! <laughs> it's fucking amazing uh because tommy's like i know three spells apparently one of those three spells is magic ghost fist punch or whatever <laughs> welcome punch uh but then meanwhile there's this also this great shot because then salatin like realizes that he he has to start doing stuff now because ulrich is is mm. is into it with tommy and he like flies at he like runs at michael with his arms out like <laughs> batman like yeah. it's so fucking stupid <laughs> but it's a classic uh, warehouse fight scene where there's just cardboard boxes everywhere because mm. that way you can do stunts and knock them over and not break any. You know, it was like really cheap, easy way. They're definitely not empty. They're definitely full. Yes, Every definitely of full of electronics, Kyle, and yep. not just empty cardboard boxes. Absolutely. Uh, oh, there's a part where Ulrich and Tommy are fighting, and Tommy like gets flipped over a rail and falls like 15 feet onto his shoulder. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. There's also a random shot of some snakes on the floor that I have no idea. Like, somebody steps on some snakes. I have no idea what that even is or what that matters. Um, but at one point, Salatin, like, pulls to Michael towards him, but then Michael starts laughing and, like, flies over him, and it's the shittiest yeah. wire work. <laughs> There's also like a lot of like Neil Breen esque moments, like with uh, from Twisted Pair, where Tommy's like shrinking and turning into yes. like a bird and flying yeah. off. There's or the, no, the green is. screen yeah. tiger, which is yes. yeah, absolutely that the, the fucking tiger from a Neil Breen movie is like green screen composited into this warehouse walking around. I think Salatin turns into the tiger or whatever. <laughs> Um, but there's all kinds, there's just shooting spells at each other. It's so fucking funny. Cause at one point, um, Ulrich here, or Michael realizes Ulrich is like corrupted and hears him call Salatin master. And he like snaps and starts shooting like a million lasers out of his fingers. No! 
And then they get into this big duel where Salatin creates a dagger. Yes, just a floating, a spinning dagger. Yeah, that he's shoots like shoots it at him. And then my, they're they're just like uh, having a the, <laughs> the magic tug of war, man. What this reminds me of is, is have you ever seen that uh, um, LARPing video with the wizard going magic, two lightning, magic, bolt, two lightning, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning yeah, bolt. absolutely, lightning bolt. <laughs> Lightning bolt! Ah! Lightning bolt! Death. Every time he did, every time he did the lasers with his finger, all I could think was lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Yeah. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Ah! Lightning bolt! Absolutely, um, it's incredible. And but they're, he's pushing the dagger, and then Ulrich comes and helps Salatin push the dagger, and then Tommy comes and helps Michael push the dagger, and they're winning. And the dagger's going right at him, but then Michael stops it at the last second because he doesn't want to kill Ulrich with the dagger or whatever. And Tommy's like, "Why would you do that? No, um, it's fantastic though." But then this is what I was talking about where. Salatin shoots some other spell at them, and Tommy, out of nowhere, has a baseball bat all yeah, of a what? sudden and hits the spell back at him with a baseball bat. I was like, what is happening? Oh, I love it so much, though. <laughs> and yeah, they turn into like birds and tigers and all kinds of nonsense. And then Tommy has a gun. <laughs> I was like, where are yeah, you getting all these weapons, Tommy? Okay. <laughs> And you guys forgot about the ultimate weapon, <laughs> a firearm. A fucking Colt 45, and he pulls it out, but the bullets just, like, fall out yes. of the barrel because they don't work. And then it just starts firing, like, a freaking blaster from Star Wars. Yeah, it's so weird. I could not figure out. And then there's two Saladins. He, he duplicates mm -hmm. himself. And he's running around. Uh, and then, again, the demon face shows up. Oh, well, because then he opens, uh, he, conf he like, corners Michael against the wall, and the wall, like, pushes oh, towards him. Yeah. It opens up. It opens, and then an army of undead start pulling Including, him in. Including, I think, his dad. Using thy father! Yeah, he said that he used this spell on his father to yeah, to, to like, heal himself. Yes, because because he got he gets burned. Oh, that's right. He gets the skull shows up, the demon shows up, and burns Saladin mm -hmm. or something, and he gets all like charred and gnarly looking. Uh, but then he's like, I can heal myself. I'll use this spell that like I did, and I I'll sacrifice you like I sacrificed your father to heal myself or whatever. And like all these zombies are like trying to drag Michael to hell. I guess I don't know. It's fucking wild. But then, uh, basically, Tommy is able to, like, break the... Is able to, like, exercise Salatin out of Ulrich. Ulrich and they are able to pull Tommy to freedom, or save? I exercise the unclean spirit! Good lord, what have I done? Yeah, they yank Tommy out of there, and then they're able to close the wall, and then Ulrich gets pulled in, but then they're able to pull him out of yeah. there. And then it gets closed or whatever. All this sounds like madness, it and is, it is. It is. It's absolute chaos. This final scene, I could not tell what was happening at all. Um, but then, it, so they're, they're, we're kind of done, but then Saladin has one more spell. Yeah, super, super uh, death explosion spell, yeah. which Ulrich's <laughs> just like, no! <laughs> Uh, and eats it and just gets fucking obliterated uh, and Ulrich's dead like truly yep. dead this time uh, and then Tommy and Michael <laughs> just go anyway so I started blasting right absolutely yes <laughs> It is unloaded. Like they were like magic missile, magic missile. Yeah, they go fucking ham. Tommy and, and Michael <laughs> both just going crazy. Uh, and also, the fog machine was the MVP of this movie. Oh Kyle, God. they put the fog machine through its paces in this fucking movie. Yeah, so much fog. Um, and then, uh, but they're able to blast him. And I think even the demon skull shows. But I don't remember. They they kill him basically. He's dead. Yeah, he falls on the ground. He's like a skeleton. <laughs> And they're like, oh, and then he he sends Michael's body back, or Ulrich's body. Yeah. He puts like an, a, an amulet on him and it teleports him back. Back to the past? He says, I sent him home. Where's he gone? Home. Mm. And then they leave. 
um, to go get the princess, I guess, because she's over. Well, no, no. Uh, the princess is there, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, they and uh, yeah, they're like, right. Tommy, you got to leave. This place is exploding. Uh, here, let's get out of here. No, we must go back into the future. Yeah. Or here. The past, yeah. Or the past. Yeah. Ba- back to, back the, past. to the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got to go back to the past. And so they're, they're going to leave. And they're like, bye, Tommy. It was nice knowing you. See ya. <laughs> and they okay. leave. But as they walk out, Salatin's skull. <laughs> Moves, baby. Oh, yeah. Um, then we, we are now back in the past. We get yes. this great shot of the castle, <laughs> which so is like ridiculous. a map painting. It's amazing. I love it so much. And then we're in the castle, and the king's like, good job. Well, well there's done. this one shot where they go from this this lakeside castle part, yeah. and they do this transitional shot. Oh, no, that's in a shot. minute. That's in a minute. Okay, but that shot looks very impressive. Oh, my God. I will get to that in a second, because I blew my fucking mind. Well, that's actually after this. Okay. But Because there's... or Actually, it might be... No, it's before. It, uh, so they're... they're, they're uh, the, yes, Michael yes, Michael and yes. the princess are chatting. And then we go to the grave. You're right. You're right. Mm. We go to the grave. We go from the lake shot to the grave, and it's the princess and yeah, you're right. And Michael chit chatting, he like puts a headstone on his grave or whatever. Mm. And um, and he's she's like, okay, well, and he she's like, well, now you have a, you know, you, uh, we can talk to my father about us marrying or whatever. Well, as a bride of a wizard, thou would share his power and see such beauty. Michael, the law. And he's like, oh, okay. And yeah, the camera pulls back through a window on the castle mm. from their scene. And he pulls back into this hall, and then Michael... I was like, what? Come, my lady. I must take thee to thy father. I don't know how they did that shot, Kyle. I was like... It's very impressive. Come, my lady. I must take thee to thy father. Out of it's so nuts because so much of the movie is just like whatever, and in this one scene, it was like I was like I was watching Citizen Kane. I was like, what is happening? Be careful, Charles. Kane. Pull your muffler around your neck, Charles. Kane, I think we shall have to tell him now. Yes. I'll sign those papers now, Mr. Thatcher. You people see what just happened? It was so impressive. It was wild. Um, but I love this scene. <laughs> I love this scene so much, Kyle. I love it so much. Um, also, I couldn't get over how much the sets in, like, when they were out, like, in the little, like, making the grave and stuff, and when they're out in the woods, how much it looks like fucking, uh, like, a holodeck set from, like, TNT. It does, it does. The sky is, like, neon purple. <laughs> it, and, like, and also, the, the the setting, like, the, the actual, like, physical settings remind me a little bit of a mini golf course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. It, no, it's fantastic. Um, and then, but so the camera pulls back through this window that he's talking to the king and the king is like, look, you can do whatever you want. You can have whatever your heart's desire. One wish I may grant. What is it? And, and the princess is sitting there like, oh, he's going to ask to be royalty so we can be married. She's like, clearly that's thinking that's what's going to happen. Fuck you, bitch. I would have resurrect my brother. Bros before <laughs> us. I ask for only one thing. Will thou consent to allowing me to resurrect my brother? More necromancy. This is what he says. No joke. And she's like, <laughs> he's like, can I resurrect my dead brother? And he goes. More necromancy. Yeah. He goes, I'll have to consider it. I'll let you know in two weeks or whatever. And this ending makes no sense, Kyle. Because she's very <laughs> upset. She's clearly upset that he did not ask. Then it cuts back outside. And he's sitting there, like, at the, the grave again or whatever. And she walks up and she's like, great news. You can resurrect your brother. Father says, if thee would still bring back thy brother, then he gives permission. <laughs> Also, he made you royalty so we can get married. Be it known to all that by royal decree, Michael Redglen is created Lord Michael Redglen, Duke of Redglen, wherever that is, Luna, I'm a nobleman. Thou can marry me. Oh, I guess that's cool too. Well, then what was the point of the last <laughs> scene where you had to ask for one of uh, those things? Like the whole point seemed to be he had to too. pick one or the other. And you know, then, they were like, hey, uh, shouldn't we go about resurrecting your brother? Hey, his ass can wait. We shall be married in the traditional magic manner. Come on. What about Ulrich? Uh, he'll keep. Yeah, he goes, he'll keep, or whatever. It's fucking, and they just run <laughs> off to go get married. I'm like, but she was just mad at you in the, 
what is this ending makes no sense whatsoever <laughs> it makes no sense whatsoever but i fucking love it i don't care uh and then the credits start rolling and salatin's body just pops out of the lake <laughs> The, the, I, there was a the end and I was expecting a question mark. I thought there was going to be a question I thought there was going to be a question mark too because you see Salatin's like <laughs> it's so stupid and then the credits roll and it's uh, I would say this movie's good bad personally but it does teeter it, 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 borders. it, it borders. borders I'll give it a good bad okay because for me I just I, I laughed a lot at it, some of the if, if nothing more than for uh, Bob Seger Sor- Sorcerer Supreme <laughs> yes and I just thought the spell effects are so cheesy and terrible. Yes. And I love the sets all look like, like again, like local theater productions or something like that. I thought all that shit was just very funny. It's a little tedious at times in the middle, some points here and there. But I never found it nearly as boring as a lot of movies that we do. I, I was entertained pretty thoroughly throughout. And, man, some of the some of the magic stuff is just so <laughs> fucking stupid and wild. I loved it. No! Oh, as always, you can do us a giant favor by heading over to patreon.com slash GB or BB. Support us there for a few bucks a month. Get access to bonus content. Uh, and then you give us money, I can buy a new chair. So it'll stop fucking creaking. Squeaking. It's so loud. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's an old chair. Uh, also, you can uh, support us by heading over to patreon.com or sorry, T Public and what? search for Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad or Get Quantum Physics. Uh, also, all these links, all the stuff I talk about every time is in. I put it on the screen, but it's also just in the description down below. You can click all the links down there that you want. Um, I have a podcast called This Film Is It, where we talk about movies that are based on books. When this episode's out, our most recent episode, I believe, will have been some version of Robin Hood. We do March Madness, where we let Mm. our listeners vote. Um, And we did last year... I can't remember what we did last year. A Cinderella, I think. You do uh, the Kevin Costner Robin Hood, where he's just it's just straight up. Oh, he, an American accent. Okay, it won its first <laughs> round. So, um, so we have like I believe it's twelve movies or something like that, or sixteen movies uh, that people and we do like face off. So mm. one will face off with the other. You vote, and then eventually, so it's still going on. No, when this is out, I think it'll be. I think of all the versions of it because there's Disney oh, there's, cartoon there's a one. ton. There's a bunch of old. Was was there one with Earl Flynn back in the '30s? Yes. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of ones I hadn't heard of, but like, so the main ones that 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 are that are probably gonna be up there for the winning is the um, Disney cartoon, Disney one. cartoon one, uh, the Kevin. Errol Flynn one, yeah, uh, the 2010 one with Russell yeah, Crowe, Crow. and then uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> those are the the four. Those four had buys. They had first round buys because we think those are the most gonna be the most popular. But there's also like the 2018 one with like Taron Edgerton that came out a few mm. years ago. There's a bunch of them. So. Uh, but anyways, the voting on that might still be going on. It's probably over at this point, um, and the episode might even be out at this point. But anyways, uh, we'll be doing some version of Robin Hood on this film this late. Uh, you can also check us out on Twitch. Those links are down in the description below. And I think that's it. Until next time, keep watching movies. It's on YouTube for free. Go check Especially out. Especially the Lords of Magic. And you can also be a Merlinite wizard. I need you. <laughs>